Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Marty from Shamrock Mopeds and I wanted to talk a little bit about um, Moto B canes and decompressors and uh, variators and stuff. So, uh, here we go. Okay, for starters I'll give you a little bit of insight on what I'm working on. Uh, basically, my uh, uh, my Moto B cane just kind of died on me when I was riding one day and had a lot of trouble getting it started and stuff and it's kind of confusing because right around the time it died was the same time uh, I put a new CDI unit on it, so I thought, you know, maybe it was, I was dead certain it was something to do with the CDI, but um, I had good spark, set the timing a bunch of, bunch of times, and still no luck, but, uh, so I ended up tearing everything apart, and uh, here's kind of what I found out, but I thought it'd be a good time to, to talk a little bit on uh, how decompressors work and stuff like that. So, for starters, um, uh, I'll just kind of show you how the decompressor on a Moto B cane works and that kind of works into what was wrong with my machine. So to start out we've got our decompressor right here up on the top of the engine and uh, when you pull the lever on your handlebars it pushes this down and so if we flip the head over you can see kind of what that does. It pushes in, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but so it pushes that guy in. I don't know if you can see that. And so it it opens up a hole going from here to here. And then that connects to this one down here. Comes out the exhaust port. So when the when the piston's coming up, it's it's unable to it just pushes everything right out that hole and allows the engine to start spinning faster, um, which is key for um, engaging the clutch because um, basically uh, when you uh, this is the clutch slash variator and uh, as you pedal the machine um, the belt begins to spin this and it, it uh, pulls these arms out they make contact with this guy which drives the crankshaft of the engine so um, by having no compression in the cylinder, it's it's much much easier to uh, get it started. So got that. But so basically, here was this is what what was wrong with mine. Um, usually, so basically, I didn't have any compression, and usually that's you know uh, bad piston rings, uh, cracked head, um, cracked jug, um, bad gaskets, the. Uh, uh, Head's not torqued down enough, a um, bunch of different reasons, but probably the most common would be the gasket. And so I didn't see any, usually one thing nice about two strokes is it's nice and oily and you'll see when there's a leak usually or you'll be able to hear it or something. I didn't see any of that. Um, but here is what was actually wrong with mine. If you can see my head gasket here, um, it's broken right here. So if I lay this on top of here, you can see that uh, it made a little channel uh, from the cylinder to the uh, to the decompressor hole. So it was kind of like my decompressor was on a little bit all the time. So um, that's the problem. I'm actually going to just ditch this and try running it without a gasket um, and uh, see how that goes. Um, it'll raise the compression a little bit because we're we're narrowing the gap, but. Uh, um, uh, it should work just fine. If not, I'll, I'll make a gasket out of a pop can or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's that.